We regularly get questions about our devices and we get questions regarding convection and conduction and how the tips work and how the caps work and airflow and vapor production. So I thought we'd take a little bit of time here to explain the difference between the titanium and the stainless steel tips, explain conduction, convection, and vapor production, as well as air dilution. So let's get into it. So I drew a tip here. This tip, uh, if we could just imagine a line down through the middle, this left half here is representing our current stainless steel tips and the right half is representing our titanium tips. So just a couple key things to point out. What we see is three grooves for the CCD placement on the titanium tip and only one for the stainless tip. We see a slightly different groove structure on the exterior of the tip for the titanium one and the double triple helix grooves on the stainless steel tip. These grooves are a little bit larger, these are a little bit smaller and there's more of them. Also what we're going to see is we're going to see that at the other end of the tip, the stainless steel tip goes all the way straight through versus the titanium tip has a taper on this end and it's specifically designed to mate with the Omni mouthpiece condenser assemblies. So when we draw a mouthpiece condenser assembly, what we're going to see is that the condenser is going to come in here. Uh, and as you turn the mouthpiece, the condenser moves in and out, reducing the clearance right here between the condenser and the tip. So as far as convection versus conduction is concerned, we'll address that right now. So if we were to take and draw a cap, the cap is going to fit over our device here. And now we have small gap between the cap and the tip. The clearance between the cap and the tip is very, very tight, which is why we have our grooves both on the titanium and the stainless tip. This forms an air channel so that when outside air comes in, it's going to pass over some of the fins and it's also going to pass through these helical channels around the tip, warming it up because the tip is going to be very hot, somewhere in the neighborhood of 350 to 400 degrees depending on where you heated on your cap and how long it's been since you heard the heat up click. As that air passes through these channels, gets heated up to convection temperatures, it is then going to come down this direction, diffusing across the space between the end of the tip and the inside of the cap, which is why it's usually a good idea to take your material and pack it down to leave a small amount of head space between the end of the tip and the inside of the cap so that air can diffuse throughout this area. This gives us our convection effect. Also, during the heating process, we're applying heat here, here, and sometimes even back here. And in general, what this creates is temperature ranges, okay? The closer we heat to this end of the tip, the lower the temperature when our cap clicks. The further we heat from this end of the tip, the higher the temperature, as well as the higher the temperature of the air that's coming between the annular space of the tip and the cap, creating our convection extraction. Because now we have more heat in this area, and we also have more surface area at a higher temperature to ex be exposed to the air passing through this space, and then passing through the material that we're trying to extract all of our compounds from. There's our convection and at the same time when we're heating here we're driving heat using the conduction process into our extraction chamber. So direct conduction before you even applied any suction to the device that heat is conducting right through and preheating all of this material. So the material is going to be close to if not at vaporization temperature before any suction is applied. And what this means is the little bit of air that flows through here only needs to effectively displace the vapor that's already hanging out in this extraction chamber. So a long, slow draw allows for a small amount of air to come in, get heated up by the mass of the stainless or the titanium tip, 
come into the extraction chamber, displace the vapor that's already there, and at the same time transfer additional heat from this hot air into the vapor into more of the center of the extraction chamber, providing for more effective evaporation of all of your active compounds, and then further displacing more of that vapor all the way down through the tip, where it then meets up with the condenser and can then mix in with cool outside air that's going to be coming between the inside of the stem or body and the outside of the condenser and mixing at this point right here, which creates a significant amount of turbulence, cools and conditions the vapor, and in general, there's the magic of the VAP cap. Thanks for watching. Check out our other videos here and here, and please subscribe. We appreciate your support and look forward to next time.